KCRA3 High School Playbook starts now. Okay, you heard him right. Welcome to KCRA3's High School Playbook show. I'm Del Rogers. During the next 13 Fridays, we'll bring you every aspect that makes up high school football experience from the bands, the fans, the cheerleaders, game officials, and even parents in the stands. Tonight is week one of the football season, and we start in Folsom at Vista Del Lago High School as the Eagles host last year's Division II champs, the Manteca Buffaloes. On the opening drive for the Vista Eagles, after a pass interference penalty, the Eagles capitalize. John Coet goes up top to Matt Long. He makes it 70 yard house call to open up the season with a bang for the Vista de Lago Eagles. But the defending Division II section champs would answer the bell. The bruiser back. Bryson Davis sticks it in from three yards out, and the Buffaloes tie things up and would go on to win in a shootout on the road, defeating Vista 42 to 35. In Sacramento at Casumas River College, the Laguna Creek Cardinals and their student section called the Cardinal Crew looking for a win tonight. They're packed in there tight, but it was a long night for Laguna Creek. Armand Thortona finds a way to find the end zone for the Cardinals there. But West Park came to play tonight. Check out this juggling catch by Ryan Sisson. After he makes the grab on the screen pass, Sisson turns on the Jets. This guy is gone. He can fly 82 yards into the land of Quick Six and the West Park Panthers from Roseville win their season opener, taking down Laguna Creek. 35 to 20 is the final. In Colorado Hills tonight, the Oak Ridge Trojans took on the Spanish Springs Cougars. Spanish Springs had to make the 136 mile, two hour and 30 minute bus ride from Sparks, Nevada today. Case Ray 3 Michelle Dapper has all the great action. The Oak Ridge Trojans dancing their way into the season against Spanish Springs out of Sparks, Nevada. Third quarter, Trojans in complete control of this one. Joaquin Graves Mercado drops back and fires over the middle, hits Jaden Anderson for the 42-yard completion. Down to the one-yard line and set up another Oak Ridge touchdown, 48-7. Still in the third, the Trojans tack on the finishing touches. Bo Gordon under center now. Quick handoff to Aiden Kwan. Shout out to the offensive line. Clear path for another score. Oak Ridge puts together a convincing week one win after an offseason filled with adversity, 54-14. You know, we were to believe in these guys. They're great kids, and sometimes kids make mistakes, and things get blown out of proportion, and um, we're just real proud of the effort. And then, uh, you know, just staying with the course and believing in what we're doing. We've got a long season ahead of us. Let's not uh, get too far ahead, but uh, let's come out every week and make it a good, you know, good time. We've lost a lot of guys. We've only got barely over 30, and so it's just us grinding out here, putting in a lot of work, getting tired at practice, but it pays off on Friday nights. So a convincing win for the Trojans up next. Of course, the Division Three AA state champions in the Grant Pacers next week. In El Dorado Hills, Michelle Depper, High School Playbook. Thank you, Michelle. Good stuff tonight, as always. In Stockton this evening, Clovis West, they made the two hour and 10 minute 129 mile bus ride up Highway 99 to play at the St. Mary's Rams in Stockton. Both of these teams have had playoff success in their program, but the only thing really riding on tonight's game is pride and bragging rights. For the visiting Clovis West Golden Eagles, they jumped out to an early lead over the Rams. Tyler Patrick finds Marshall Sanders, and Marshall, he just jumps on his horse, gallops 93 yards into the land of quick six for the Clovis West Golden Eagles. They would lead this thing six to three after number five went and got six. But the home team of the St. Mary's Rams and their longtime head coach, Tony Franks, they bounce back in a big way. Devin Rasmussen finds his running back, Asante Carter, and 20 yards later, AC is standing cool in the end zone. Yeah, for St. Mary's touchdown. Rams win their season opener. Final score, 38-28 over Clover West. Elsewhere in Stockton, the Mountain House Mustangs made the trip north to face the McNair Eagles tonight. Great weather, atmosphere. McNair used their special teams to stay in this game. Jeremiah Williams, J Dub, takes the kickoff and does what he's supposed to do, taking it back to the house to the other side. J Dub, you coming at you. Jeremiah Williams gets the job done, dashing 87 yards to the zone for the McNair Eagles. But Mountain House, they've got too many weapons in their shed. Omar Brooks finds. Jamison Starks, who finds the end zone, and the Mountain House Mustangs win their season opener on the road, defeating McNair 33-21. All right, as we do every week, it's time to show off our high school playbook, Great Clips Catch of the Week. For week one, 
Our high school playbook, Great Clips Catch of the Week, was turned in by Delta High School. Check out Max Danila. Max has two defenders over him, but Max hangs on to the ball. Turning in our Case I Ray 3 High School Playbook, Great Clips Catch of the Week. Well, to keep our promise of bringing you every aspect of Friday Night Football, it's time to introduce you to our Cheer Team of the Week. Take a listen. They're the 12 member varsity cheerleaders from Delta High School in Clarksburg. The Delta Saints cheerleaders, varsity team. They love to make their fans in the stands stand up and cheer every game. And it was packed tonight as they love, they what they tell me, controlling the emotions of everyone during their home and road games. That does it for the first half. But before we introduce you to our game officials of the week, we wanted to take a moment to send our condolences to the family of 30 year high school referee Ray Pulley. Early this week, Ray suddenly passed away and he'll be duly missed. With that being said, our high school playbook game officials for the week one is the four person varsity crew. The crew chief in the white cap is Clifford Brown. Mr. Brown has refereed high school football games and soccer matches for 17 years. When he's not doing that, Mr. Clifford Brown runs his own property management company. Xfinity Fan of the Week. All right, okay, it's you. You're the Fan of the Week. How many times did you vote? About 300. And how many total votes you guys get? 16, 18,000. All right, there you go, man. Thank you. You're the Fan of the Week. Hold it up, let me yeah. see it. Hold it up, hold it up. I love that. Welcome back to the second half of the High School Playbook Show. I'm Dale Rogers. We begin with our High School Playbook Northern California Honda Dealers Game of the Week as your votes sent me to Clarksburg. And the home team, Delta High School fans, yeah, they packed their home stands. And they were well rewarded. 
To cap off the Delta Saints opening drive, Isaiah Rubio comes right at our playbook camera and finds the end zone from 20 yards out. It's 7-0 Delta Saints. Then on the Saints' next possession, they would do more damage. This time it's Michael Raychow, who plows in from five yards out for Delta. Later in the first quarter, Isaiah Rubio takes the rock. And then Rubio rolls around the corner and down the sideline, going 82 yards into the land of quick six for the Delta Saints. Time now for a halftime update to help me out. Varsity cheerleader for the Delta Saints, Fatima, what do we got? It's halftime, the score is 34 to zero, Delta's winning, and after the game, Delta will still be leading. Go Saints. In the second half, San Juan never threw in the towel, but they never got anything really going, despite this first down by Aiden Bordeaux. For the Delta Saints, they never let up off the gas pedal. Jax Soto gets in on the fun as he finds the zone for another Delta touchdown. Saints win, Saints win, final score 50 to nothing. It feels great, especially for the fact that we never had a we never got a scrimmage in. This was our first night of contact as far as in game situation. Super proud of these guys. They played super hard. We're very young, 16 underclassmen, only nine upperclassmen, four seniors, a lot of young kids, and they came out here and they put it on them tonight. I think it's saying is that we're just coming out strong and that we're hungry to win this season. You know, we have a lot of guys out here that have been working sail off all summer, and everyone's just excited to come out and play this season. You gotta like the hat. Our playbook cameras were also in Modesto tonight as the Central Catholic Raiders hosted the Merced, Merced Bears. For the Merced Bears, they had a tough time getting their offense going, but we're able to turn in plays like this. Quintel Dupree, first down toss to his brother, Jordan Dupree for Merced, much needed first down. But tonight belonged to the Central Catholic Raiders. They had it going on by the air and by the ground. Check this out, Tyler Wentworth to Brooklyn Cheek. That's a 62 yard touchdown for the Raiders. Plus Central Catholic dominated with their ground attack. Check out Joy Alcutt. Joy gets loose and hauls the pigskin, packing it back 68 yards into the zone for a CC Raiders touchdown. Central Catholic wins their season opener, mashing Merced 42 to 12. Still in Motown tonight, the Lincoln Trojans from Stockton took the short trip south to play at the Downey Knights. Lincoln, though, had to play catch up ball all night long. But check this out. Jordan Thomas takes the rock. This guy can roll it 55 yards. Track meet. End zone, Lincoln Trojans, but Downey, they led by three after that score. From there, Downey did the double down. Their quarterback, Carson Lamb, finds Joseph Ramirez. JR, that's a 22-yard touchdown and a Downey Knights nine-point lead. Later in the second quarter, Downey, quarterback, same guy, Carson Lamb. This time, he handles the business himself. Going 15 yards with the keeper for the touchdown. Downey dumps Lincoln of Stockton. Final score tonight, 50 to 33. Now it's time to stop the highlights, bring in our band. As we do every week, it's time to listen to our high school playbook band of the week. This week is the 75 member Monterey Trail High School Marching Mustangs. Band director, Aaron Smith, hit it. Okay, I think they had the beat there. Now back to more highlights as we pick things up with the Monterey Trail Mustangs hosting the defending Division I section champs, Folsom Bulldogs. Folsom making their short bus ride to Elk Grove to take on the Monterey Trail Mustangs tonight. This one was all about the Folsom Bulldogs on their opening drive. Quarterback, Raydern Lions keeps it on the read option. Five yards later, that guy's in the end zone for a Bulldogs touchdown. Second quarter stuff, Monterey Trail still struggling to move the ball, but they never threw in the towel. They battled to the end against a very good and always Folsom team. Hard to score against Folsom, their tough team always. Bulldogs continue to dominate, blanking Monterey Trail tonight. Final score, 35 to nothing. Now the poll for next week's high school playbook, Northern California Honda Dealers Game of the Week is up and running. Here are your choices for games played Friday, August the 25th. That's this upcoming Friday. Those are the games you can vote on. The poll closes Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Michelle Dapper will announce the winner at 11 on KCRA 3. To vote, log on to KCRA.com. Go to the High School Playbook section, but only, but often, and you can vote for a friend. That's it for week one. 
From Michelle Dapper and the rest of our High School Playbook crew, I'm Dale Rogers. We'll see you back here next Friday for week two of the high school football season.